All right. <laughs> that's what I call real noise. And that's what we want here today. This is the rally. And we thank you so much for participating. And this is the part where everyone can participate. I want to thank you for coming out and supporting uh, SB 768. And that's the $2 tobacco tax uh, bill uh, from State Senator Kevin DeLeon. And we want to thank Senator DeLeon for his support. We from the American Heart Association, we are very excited about this bill. And it's about time California raised this tax tobacco bill. We haven't had a bill like this in 15 years, and we think it's time. We have the energy, we have the drive, and a statewide movement to make this $2 uh, tobacco tax happen. And let's make it a reality. Y'all agree with me? OK, I have the distinct honor to introduce the author of the tobacco tax bill. State Senator uh, Kevin DeLeon represents the 27-second uh, uh, district, Senate district here in California, obviously. And Senator DeLeon is also the chair of the Appropriations Committee and has been a strong public health leader for many years now. And we are proud to have such a solid champion leading our charge. Uh, he's been interested and he's done a lot of good things for this state and we know that this is just going to be an addition to what he's done in the past. There he is. <laughs> I was trying not to go, go too fast. Everyone, put your hands together and give a warm welcome and some love to Senator Kevin DeLeon. First, I want to thank Joe. Let's give it up for Joe. I want to thank each and every one of you, especially the young men and women who've taken time out of their very busy day to come up here to their state capitol here in Sacramento. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling good? This is a, a very important day. It's a very important day because we've come a long way. We've come a long, long way since the Mad Men days on television when you had doctors actually endorsing smoking. We've come a long way, haven't we? And no doubt. Well, actually, on television, you would have actually doctors, as we see on television through the program Mad Men, where doctors would actually support smoking. That is absolutely incredible. And Although we have banned smoking in restaurants throughout California, can you believe at one time that that was actually le legal? You can walk into a restaurant and you could have a section at one time, the whole restaurant you can smoke, and then we progress to only a certain section you can smoke. And when you really think about that, that was actually legal in the state of California. That's almost equivalent to saying, if you jump in the swimming pool, this section you can pee, this section you can't pee. And that's the equivalent when you think about tobacco and smoking in restaurants. That's absolutely incredible. So as Joe just stated here, we made progress, much progress. However, California is, in fact, behind. And we haven't raised a tax on tobacco since 1998. That's 15 years ago. And I can't believe that as a democratic state, as a progressive state, the last time we've raised taxes on tobacco has been 15 years ago. And I think that we as Californians should be the leader on this issue. We shouldn't be number 33, because we are actually behind 33 states in the country. We should be the leader in the nation when it comes to a tobacco, rat, tobacco tax rate. Do you agree? Yeah. We all know that an increase is way, way overdue. We are paying way more in tobacco-related costs than we're taking in, and it's time to get this done. Raising the tobacco tax in the state of California will raise, as Joe stated, over $2 billion. 
That's not two million. That is not 20 million. That is not 200 million. That is two billion dollars. That's a lot of money. And with that money, it will go a long way to improve access to health care, to help smokers quit smoking, and to also fund enforcement activities, in particular in a lot of our communities, communities of color, African-American communities, Latino communities, Asian Pacific Islander communities, a lot where they push this product. It will give us an opportunity to enforce the laws that are currently on the books, and this tobacco tax will go a long, long way. Now, two major side benefits. One, it's going to help alleviate the burden on our state, which now pays for almost $3.1 billion per year on tobacco-related diseases in the state of California. And just as importantly, especially, especially for all of you that are here today, this tax will help decrease, help decrease the number of youth that are smoking right now and the number of youth who may potentially smoke in the future. If we can do that, we've done our job because we know at the end of the day we'll have less and less smokers in the state of California. So this is a win-win situation for each and every one of us and the only loser here is Big Tobacco. That's the only loser here in this case. So it is important that you've come here today. It is important that you've set the groundwork. When you walk into the Capitol, you engage the legislators, Democrats, Republicans, individuals, regardless of who they are, regardless of what state they represent, it's important that they see you. It's important they hear your voice. It's important that you have your voice heard because you will make the difference. I'm one individual. I'm just one individual. I'm just a senator. That's all. Collectively, you represent all of us throughout the state of California, and collectively, we can do this together. With that, let's make sure we win. Let's move forward. And yes, on SB 768. Thank you very much. Come on, let's hear it for Senator Kevin DeLeon. <laughs> Truly a friend of California and the health industry. Thank you so much. And I like him because he's clean. Check him out. He looks real good. Senator Kevin DeLeon, one more time. Thank you so much. Next, next we're pleased to have uh, Steve Aragon, uh, Aragoyan. I like to get names correct. And you guys heard Steve's story this morning. And one more time, we would like for everyone to uh, hear what Steve has to say. He's a Southern California uh, uh, volunteer. Uh, with the American Heart Association, and he's also a survivor. And uh, one more time, let's hear it for Steve. Come on, Steve, where are you at? Right on. Sorry, these guys are tall. Oh, sorry. <laughs> these guys are tall. Um, you know what? Look at me. Do I look healthy out there? Do I look really healthy, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Really? Seven heart attacks, two open heart surgeries, 20 stents, one stroke. I look 21, I feel 21. <laughs> you know, research is great. Smoking, I never smoked, but I was around a lot of secondhand smokers. You know, my mom smoked, my dad smoked. Sometimes I laugh and blame my mom on, on my heart disease. Or she'll smack me in the back of the head, you know, and, but it's, you know, it's everywhere. We need to, we need to, we need to save lives. We do. I'm a, I'm a big supporter of this. We got we to do it. We got to go in there and talk. Let them listen to us. Okay, guys? I love this. Our future is right here. Their future. This is, this is our youth. I have a 17-year-old at home. I want to see him go on. I don't want to see smoking around. I, 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 I hate seeing cigarettes in kids' hands. I don't like it. We need to get rid of that. How many lives? How many lives we if we could have saved if we would have uh, put tobacco up tax up uh, 15 years ago? A lot, right? Could have saved a lot of lives. Uh, you know, so we got to go in there, talk to our legislator, and just just get this thing going. Okay, guys. Okay, this is what I want you guys to do. Okay, it's Friday night. 
You're on your hometown football field. The score is tied up. We got three seconds left. See that camera out there? Okay. We just made a touchdown. You just scored. You just won. I want you guys to get up, show that camera that we're saving lives. But yes, save lives. Yes, save lives. Come on. Yes, save lives. And we just scored the football. We just scored a touchdown. Let's scream. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Steve. Thank you so much. Steve has a real story to tell. Next, we have the American Lung Associations, uh, Kimberly Amazine. She's their vice president. And Kimberly is a veteran of the advocacy and legislative regime in Sacramento. Help me welcome Kimberly. Kimberly Amazine. Well, good afternoon. You guys are a great crowd. You're a rowdy crowd. And Joe and I, been, we've been down this road before. We got this close on the passage of Proposition 29. How many of you want to see a tobacco tax pass in this legislature this year? Yeah. How many of you? The American Lung Association, the American Cancer Society, Cancer Action Network, the American Heart Association, Health Access, and SEIU are pleased and proud to support and co-sponsor SB 768. We are pleased and thrilled with Senator DeLeon's leadership on this important measure. Our organizations have long advocated for the passage of policies that help provide treatments and services to smokers who want to quit and to protect and discourage youth from ever starting to smoke. And we know that that burden, the burden of smoking does not fall evenly across the state or across populations. Think about it. Tobacco-related diseases are the single most preventable cause of death in California. Preventable. We can do something about it. You are here today to do something about it. We know that the best way to protect millions of Californians is through the investment in the California Tobacco Control Program. That return on investment has saved the state of California and taxpayers $134 billion. That's something to be proud of. And that's something that we've got to take that message inside this building so every single legislator hears our voice. It's been said, it's been 15 years, California led the nation, passed the first tobacco tax, invested in tobacco control, and it's been far too long since we've raised our tax. We are somewhere in the middle. We're floundering. Our state is better than that. It's going to generate billions of dollars to invest and enhance access to health care to the most vulnerable populations in our state, and that's a good thing. So we appreciate the Senator's leadership on this. We look forward to working with our partners, with all of you, to pass this important measure. In fact, we can do this, and we must do this. Are you guys with us? Can we do this? All right. Let's get this done. Let's pass Senate Bill 768. Thank you. Come on, let's hear it for Kimberly. Okay, now we have Allison Ramey. She represents the American uh, Cancer Society. Allison is an advocate who will tell you why ACS supports SB. 768. Allison. Thanks so much, everyone, for being here. As Kimberly mentioned, we are proud to be a co-sponsor of SB 768. And it's long overdue that we make the effort to increase the tobacco tax here in California. Tobacco use is the single most preventable cause of death and disease in California, claiming the lives of more than 36,000 people every year. At the same time, we have a tobacco industry that strives to get youth, the youth around us, to pick up this horrible habit. And our hope is that by increasing the tobacco tax by $2 through Senator DeLeon's legislation, we will prevent youth from picking up that habit and we will be able to tell the tobacco industry that we have more supporters than they have money. 
An increase in the tobacco tax will help provide much needed revenue to improve access to health care in California. We know that because there are so many tobacco related diseases, an increase in the revenue to help treat those diseases is very much needed. Additionally, the tobacco tax revenues can help California take advantage of federal matching funds. And as those funds come into California, we help the economy as a whole, we help the health of California, and for that reason, our, organize, our organizations are proud to stand united and support SB 768. Thank you so much. Thanks, Allison. I'd like to also recognize another key partner, and that's Terry Bernard. He's with SEIU. Where are you at, Terry? You guys ever keep bumping into your heart? <laughs> Let's hear it for the heart, something, because he's wearing me out. <laughs> we have another person we also want to recognize, and that's Anthony Wright, and he's with the Health uh, Access California. Anthony, where are you at? All right, step up here so we can see you. You want to say hello? Yeah. Say hello. Again, yeah, my name is Anthony Wright. I'm the Executive Director of Health Access California. And as, on behalf of a broad coalition of groups uh, of consumers and, and patients, we strongly support uh, this bill, this tobacco tax, not just for the public health impacts of saving people's lives, but to fund the Medi-Cal system, a health care system that desperately needs the help. We are 50th in the nation in, in reimbursements in our Medi-Cal system. We can both save lives on the front end and we can have California get the money back from a, pr treating all those tobacco-related diseases to help improve the health care system that all of us rely on. We, we're pleased to be here to support uh, this bill and this effort. Thank you. I don't know if you guys are excited as I am, but we have some very good partners. Everyone that you've heard speak today are solid partners, and we're going to get it done. Now, um, I want to end today's rally with a cheer, okay? And we all say support SB 768 today. Support 768 today. Support 76 days today. Come on, make some noise. 768 today. Support 768 today. 768 today. All right, stomp your feet. I want to hear you stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, make some noise. Stomp your feet in support. Come on, y'all. Make some noise around here, OK? This is in support. I want to hear noise like you were making. Make some noise. We want to thank everybody for their support, OK? And SB 768 is a step in the right direction. And we can all get behind a $2 tax. And again, we want to thank you. Now, let me ask you this. I heard Galileo was in town. Are you in town? Yeah. Let me hear some noise. Is Galileo in town? And I heard L.A. was in town here. And where are you from, L.A.? Ralph Bunch. OK, make some noise, Ralph Bunch. Now I want to hear Ralph Bunch and Galileo make some noise together. 